The rain fell in icy sheets, soaking through Samantha Ray's thin blazer as she stood over the mutilated corpse. Red and blue lights strobed across the slick alleyway, painting the brickwork a sickly purple. She pulled her collar up against the chill, breath misting in the damp air. Same M.O. as the others, her partner, Jack Wilder, said grimly beside her. Ritualistic positioning. Strange symbols carved into the skin. Samantha crouched, studying the ragged cuts. Her stomach lurched. She'd know those marks anywhere, crude ravens, beaks open as if in mockery. The same symbol that had haunted her nightmares since she was a child. Since the night her mother died at her father's hands. She closed her eyes against the onslaught of memory. Screams echoing down the hallway. The reek of copper in the air. Her mother's glossy stare she lay in a pool of crimson. Samantha? Jack's voice was gentle, his hand warm on her shoulder. She flinched away, rising jerkily. I'm fine, she bit out, avoiding his too knowing gaze. She couldn't afford to fall apart. Not here. Not now. Jack sighed, scrubbing a hand over his stubbled jaw. Look, maybe you should sit this one out. Let me handle. No. Hey. The word came out sharp as a blade. She met his eyes, jade clashing with whiskey brown. I need to see this through. Need to understand. She trailed off, throat tight. Jack had been there for her through everything. Had held her as she wept after her father's conviction. Had helped her pick up the broken pieces in the aftermath. Somewhere along the way, amidst the shared secrets and silent understandings, she'd fallen for him. Hard. And tie. But he was her partner. Her best friend. She couldn't risk that, no matter how her heart ached. Swallowing thickly, she turned back to the corpse. We should get the body to the morgue. See if forensics can find anything useful this time. As if on cue, the coroner's van pulled up, brakes squealing. Samantha watched as they loaded the stretcher, the black bag and ink stain against the gray Perdon light. Just as they were preparing to leave, a commotion sounded from the police barricade. A man in a dark trench coat shouldered past the uniforms, moving with ruthless intent. Samantha froze, ice crystallizing in her veins. She knew that walk. That craggy profile. The raven black hair, now shot through with silver. Hello, daughter. Lucas Ray smiled, a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's been far too long. Samantha stood rooted in shock, unable to breathe. It wasn't possible. He was supposed to be locked away, banished behind iron bars and concrete walls for the rest of his life. But here he was, mocking her with his freedom, with his existence. Jack stepped smoothly in front of her, one hand on his holster. Sir, this is a closed crime scene. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Of course, detective. My apologies. Lucas's eyes, pale and piercing as a winter sky, never left Samantha's. I simply wish to reconnect with my daughter. Perhaps aid her investigation, for old time's sake. Byley burned to the back of her throat. Old time's sake. As if he hadn't shattered their family beyond repair. As if the sight of him didn't make her soul scream. How? She whispered hoarsely. His smile sharpened. Surely you haven't forgotten the influence of the Ray named Samantha. A few well-placed bribes, a few called-in favors, and here we are. He spread his arms, a king surveying his domain. Together again. You need to leave. She was distantly surprised at the steadiness of her own voice. Now, dear, no need to be rude, darling. I merely want to help. Help, um... A bark of humorless laughter escaped her. Like you helped mom? His face hardened, all pretense of affability, vanishing. Watch your tongue, girl. You know nothing of the sacrifices I made for this family. The lengths I went to to keep you safe. Safe? Rage crested. White hot and choking. She welcomed it over the yawning anguish. You murdered her in cold blood. Destroyed everything I loved. I did what needed to be done. His voice was cold, unforgiving as the grave. And I'd do it again. 
She was going to take you from me. I couldn't allow that. Suddenly, Samantha was eight years old again, trembling behind the closet door as the screaming reached a crescendo. Tears and snot streaked down her face as she begged every deity she knew for it to stop. Please, just make it stop. Samantha, Dottie. Jack's alarmed voice sliced through the dreadful reverie. She realized she was shaking. Fingernails gouged into her palms. Lucas observed her dispassionately, a scientist scrutinizing a pinned butterfly. You never did have the strength to see the bigger picture. To embrace your true potential. He shook his head, tutting softly. All the more reason for me to take the reins on this case. It's only fitting. What are you talking about? Even with the maelstrom of emotions, Samantha's detective instincts stirred to life. There was something in his voice, a thread of dark anticipation. His smile returned, sharp enough to cut glass. Why ensuring the curse runs its course, of course. We both know this is only the beginning. He stepped closer, gaze boring into hers. Samantha's heart stopped at his next words, barely a whisper over the rain. And we both know you'll never stop me. Not when a piece of you still hopes Daddy will finally see you for the clever girl you are. With that, he turned on his heel and melted into the shadows, leaving Samantha shattered in his wake. Jack was at her side in an instant, one worn hand gripping her elbow. Samantha? Talk to me. What did he say? She shook her head numbly, a drowning woman grasping for flotsam. He's behind the murders, Jack. He all but admitted it. Her voice broke on a sob. And I, I think a part of me still wants his approval. His love. God, what's wrong with me? Strong arms wrapped around her, pulling her into a broad chest. She curled into him instinctively, breathing in his familiar scent of sandalwood and leather. Nothing is wrong with you, Jack said fiercely, his deep baritone rumbling through her. You are not the sins of your father. You're the strongest person I know, Samantha Ray. She allowed herself the momentary weakness, the solace of his embrace. Let his conviction wash over her like absolution. Then slowly, she pulled back, brushing the tears from her cheeks with a determined swipe. Squaring her shoulders, she met Jack's warm gaze, her own hardening to emerald steel. We need to stop him, Jack. Need to finish this, once and for all. Her fingers found his, tangling briefly. I can't do it without you. He squeezed her hand, Kalu's thumb brushing her knuckles. You never have to. I'm with you, Sam. Always. With those words, a fragile hope unfurled beneath her breastbone. A thready pulse, an ember in the dark. She held it close, a talisman against the looming shadows. Against the twisted secrets of her bloodline, the whispers of a curse reborn. The precinct was a hive of activity, phones ringing shrilly and uniforms hustling between desks. Samantha stood in the center of the chaos, a still point in the storm, staring at the crime scene photos pinned to the corkboard. Five victims. Five lives snuffed out like candles. Their final moments an eternity of agony. And at the center of it all, the crude ravens carved into cooling flesh. A calling card. A taunt. She traced a finger over the ragged lines, bile rising in her throat. How many more would suffer before they unraveled her father's twisted game? How much more blood would stain her hands by association? Samantha, thought I. Jack's voice was a warm rumble at her back, his presence solid and steady. She closed her eyes briefly, anchoring herself in his unwavering support. Tell me we have a lead. Something, anything to go on. He moved to stand beside her, close enough that his shoulder brushed hers. A lifeline in the Tempest. Forensics came back on the latest victim. They found traces of a rare botanical compound under his fingernails. Atropa, Belladonna. Belladonna, thought she. The word was acid on her tongue. A highly toxic plant, fatal in large doses. Historically associated with witchcraft and occult rituals. Jack met her gaze, whiskey brown eyes somber. And that's not all. The belladonna was mixed with another substance. Ashes. Human ashes. Ice skittered down Samantha's spine, 
a primal dread seizing her lungs. Unbidden, an image flashed behind her eyes, a pyre of bone and ember, her mother's funeral on a bleak November day. And there, a figure in the shadows, scooping the ash into a small urn with skeletal hands. Samantha? Jack's concerned face swam into focus, his palm warm on her elbow. Stay with me. Breathe. She sucked in a shuddering gasp, the precinct snapping back into dizzying clarity. Nausea churned in her gut. It's him, Jack? Her voice cracked, splintered glass. He... he mixed mom's ashes into some kind of poison. A final desecration. A broken sob swallowed the words. Strong arms caught her as her knees buckled, guiding her into a weathered chair. Jack knelt before her, hands bracketing her face with infinite tenderness. Listen to me, Sam. This is not your fault. None of it. His thumbs brushed the tears from her cheeks, searing her skin. You are not responsible for his depravity. She wanted to believe him. Wanted to absolve herself of the sins of her father, the gore-soaked legacy pumping through her veins. But the taint was a living thing, an oily blackness coiled in her marrow. What if I'm just like him? A broken whisper, a shameful truth unspooling. What if there's a darkness in me too, a seed waiting to sprout? Maybe, maybe the only way to end this is to... No. Jack cut her off harshly, eyes blazing. Don't you dare finish that sentence, Samantha Ray. You are the best person I know. The strongest, most compassionate, most brilliant detective. The most brilliant woman I've ever met. You fight for the victims, give them a voice. That's who you are, Anna. That's all you are. Slowly, so achingly gently, he rested his forehead against hers, voice ragged with emotion. You're my partner. My North Star. The one truth I've ever known. And I'll be damned if I let you lose yourself to his poison. A shaky exhale left her, the riot of self-loathing quieting beneath his conviction. Tentatively, she pressed a hand over his thundering heart, felt it echo the desperate tempo of her own. Here, with Jack's breath ghosting across her cheeks, his words an anchor in the squall, for one fragile, crystallized moment she could believe. Believe she was more than the blood-drenched girl cowering in the closet all those years ago. Okay, she breathed, fingers fisting in his shirt. Okay? We do this together, then. Find him. Stop him. Uh, make him pay for every life he stole. Jack smiled against her forehead, a burst of fierce pride. Damn right we will. You and me against the world, sweetheart. A laugh shivered out of her, gossamer and thready. Sweetheart? A forbidden endearment, a wisp of a dream. If only... But now was not the time. Not with a killer to catch an innocence to avenge. Stealing herself, she pulled back. Jade meeting whiskey as a new resolve hardened her spine. Where do we start? Jack straightened, every inch the battle-ready partner. The Belladonna is our best lead. There are only a handful of places in the city that sell it. I say we rattle some cages, see what shakes loose. Samantha nodded sharply, rising on steady legs. Then let's go hunting. As they strode through the bullpen, shoulders brushing with each step, Samantha felt the weight of her badge like a talisman against her hip. A shield. A reminder of her true north the vow she'd sworn to uphold. The herbalist's shop was a cramped, dimly lit space, shelves overflowing with jars of dried botanicals and ancient tomes. The air was thick with the cloying scent of incense, undercut by the sharp green of crushed leaves. Samantha moved through the cluttered aisles, fingertips skimming over glass and parchment. Beside her, Jack examined a display of mortar and pestles, his broad frame a reassuring presence at her back. Can I help you find something specific? The shopkeeper materialized from the shadows, a wizened man with piercing blue eyes. His gaze flicked between them, settling on the badges at their hips. Samantha flashed a tight smile. Detective Ray, NYPD, dot, dot. 
we're investigating a string of murders involving a rare poison. A tropa belladonna, Datintio. The man's eyes widened fractionally, a flicker of recognition. Ah, a potent herb, to be sure. Not something I stock regularly. Jack stepped forward, crowding into the shopkeeper's space. But you stocked it recently, haven't you? We checked the records. You had a shipment delivered three weeks ago. A bead of sweat trembled at the man's temple. I, yes, a special order for a long-time customer. He required a sizable quantity for his work. Samantha's heart tripped, adrenaline spiking. This customer, did he give a name? The shopkeeper swallowed audibly. He prefers to remain anonymous. Pays in cash, leaves no paper trail. But, but, but what? Jack's voice was a low growl, a wolf scenting blood. He, he has a strange tattoo on the inside of his wrist. The man's fingers traced a shaky pattern on his own skin. A raven. Wings spread, beak open, like it's screaming. The world tilted, narrowed to a single point of icy dread. Her father's face swam before her, twisted in rage as he loomed over her mother's broken body. And there, stark against his pale flesh, a raven, screaming. When? The question scraped out of her, flaying her throat raw. When is he coming for the belladonna? The shopkeeper's face drained of color. Tonight, Betty Nani. He's coming tonight, at midnight. That's all I know, I swear it. Samantha was moving before he finished speaking, Jack at her heels. They burst into the alley, the cool night air a balm on her fevered skin. It's him, Jack. He's going to strike again tonight. Her hands shook as she gripped her phone, knuckles bone white. Jack caught her wrist, his touch a brand. We'll get him, Sam. We know his timetable now. We can set a trap, catch him in the act. She shook her head, a bitter laugh bubbling in her chest. You don't understand. He's always one step ahead, always just out of reach. It's like he's taunting me, daring me to try and stop him. Tears burned her eyes, hot and stinging. The weight of her failure, her inadequacy, crashed over her in a crushing wave. All her training all her desperate grasping for justice. And still, he slipped through her fingers like smoke. I can't do this, Jack. The confession wrenched from her, a broken sob. I can't beat him. He's too strong, too clever. Maybe, maybe I should just let him win. Let the curse claim me, too. No. Jack's shout ricocheted off the bricks, his hands clamping around her biceps like steel bands. He yanked her against his chest, trapping her in the circle of his arms. Listen to me, Samantha Ray. You are not giving up. Not now, not ever. His voice shook with the force of his conviction, his breath hot on her ear. You are the strongest person I know. The bravest, most tenacious detective on the force. You faced down worse monsters than your father and come out standing. He pulled back just enough to cup her face in calloused palms. The streetlight caught the amber flecks in his eyes, turning them to molten gold. You're a fighter, Sam. A survivor. And you don't have to do this alone anymore. His thumbs traced the arch of her cheeks, unbearably gentle. I'm here. I'm right here, and I'm not going anywhere. We're partners, in every sense of the word. Something cracked open in Samantha's chest, a fissure aching and raw. The walls she'd spent a lifetime erecting, the armor she'd welded around her heart. It crumbled to dust in the face of his unwavering faith. Jack. His name caught on a hitching breath, a plea and prayer tangled on her tongue. And then his mouth was on hers, hot and devastating. She fisted her hands in his hair, dragging him impossibly closer as the kiss turned feral. Teeth and tongues clashed, a dizzying slide of lips and breath. He hauled her up against the rough brick, wedging a thigh between her legs as he plundered her mouth. It was a branding, a claiming, a searing promise written in sweat and hunger. 
When they finally broke apart, chests heaving, Samantha felt remade, shattered and reforged, an avenging angel rising from the ashes. We end this. Her voice rang with steel, the embers of her resolve stoked to a roaring blaze. We set the trap and we catch the bastard. Tonight. D. Jack grinned, fierce and feral. That's my girl. He pressed a last, hard kiss to her lips before stepping back. Let's go take down the devil. As they melted into the shadows, hands entwined and purpose thrumming in their veins, Samantha felt the final piece lock into place. Midnight draped the city in a shroud of shadows, the moon a baleful eye peering through the clouds. Samantha crouched behind a dumpster in the alley adjacent to the herbalist's shop, the damp bricks leeching cold through her leather jacket. Jack was a warm presence at her side, his breath misting in the chill air. They'd been in position for hours, watching the shop's back door with unwavering focus, waiting for the monster to emerge. Samantha's heart thudded a staccato beat against her ribs, adrenaline a live wire in her veins. This was it. The culmination of every sleepless night, every gruesome crime scene, every festering wound her father had carved into her soul. Tonight, it ended. One way or another. The metallic click of the shop's lock jolted through her, electrifying. She tensed, hand tightening on her gun as the door swung open. A hooded figure slipped into the alley, a bulging satchel clutched in one pale hand. Lucas Ray. The raven. Her father. Beside her, Jack coiled like a snake poised to strike. She could feel the fury radiating off him, a barely leshed inferno. For a suspended moment, they were a single entity, partners, lovers, twin flames forged in the crucible of tragedy. Then Samantha was moving, a wraith detaching from the gloom. NYPD. Freeze. Her voice cracked like a whip, steady despite the maelstrom raging in her chest. Lucas froze, a predator scenting danger. Slowly, he turned, face still shrouded in shadow. Hello, daughter mine. The familiar lilt, the mocking endearment. Bailey scorched Samantha's throat. Her gun trained on his chest, unwavering. It's over, Lucas. Drop the bag and put your hands on your head. A rasping chuckle. Dry leaves on a crypt floor. Oh, Samantha. So young, so naive. When will you learn? He took a step forward, ignoring her barked warning. It will never be over. Not until the curse has run its course. Not until the last drop of blackthorn blood soaks the earth. Samantha's finger trembled on the trigger, a hair's breadth from squeezing. Stop. One more step and I will shoot. Lucas's head cocked, a grotesque parody of fatherly concern. Will you now? Can you? Knowing it's your own flesh you'll be tearing apart? Another step, his face caught in a shaft of moonlight. Cherished and hated, the boogeyman of her nightmares made manifest. Face it, Samantha. You can't escape your legacy. Can't outrun the darkness inside you. His voice lowered a cloying croon. We're the same, you and I, two sides of a tarnished coin. You can feel it, can't you? The hunger, the rage. It's in your bones, your blood. And soon, soon it will consume you. Just like it did me. No. The denial tore from her, ragged and raw. Tears blurred the edges of her vision, salt on her tongue. I am nothing like you. I will never be like you. Lucas smiled a death's head grin. We shall see. Then, faster than thought, he reached into his coat and withdrew a sickle-shaped blade. Not a gun, not a bomb, but a ritual athemy, the edge glinting with an oily sheen. Poison. Dot. Time dilated, seconds stretching into eons. Samantha saw the arc of the blade, the savage triumph in her father's eyes. Saw Jack lunging from the periphery, a wordless roar on his lips. And in that crystalline moment, she understood. This was the test. The non The final locked door standing between her and absolution. Her father wanted her to shoot. Wanted her to succumb to the rage, 
the pain, the howling need for vengeance. To damn herself in the pursuit of justice, taint her soul the way he had his. But she was not Lucas Ray. Not upon a fate, a twisted marionette dancing on strings of blood and chaos. She was Samantha Ray. Detective, protector, daughter of light. And she would not fall. The world snapped back into focus, razor-edged and searing. Samantha exhaled, a slow, steady stream, and lowered her gun. No. The word rang out like a bell, clear and unequivocal. Lucas stumbled, brow furrowing in confusion. What? Ah, uh, I said no. Samantha holstered her weapon, chin lifted in defiance. I won't do it, father. Won't become the monster you want me to be. She stepped forward, palms open, entreating. I am not the curse. And neither are you. We are more than the sins of our forebears, the poison in our veins. Tears spilled down her cheeks, grief and grace mingled. We can choose, father. Choose to be better, to break the cycle. Just like I'm choosing now. For a heartbeat, a hairline fracture appeared in Lucas's facade. A glimpse of the man he might have been, the father she'd yearned for in the secret chambers of her heart. Then it was gone, subsumed by a mask of snarling rage. Weak, he spat, spittle flying. Soft. Unworthy of the Ray name? He lunged, blade flashing as he bore down on her. Samantha braced for the impact, for the searing kiss of poison. The crack of a gunshot split the air. Lucas crumpled, knife clattering on the asphalt. A crimson stain bloomed across his chest, a macabre flower unfurling. Jack stood over him, pistol smoking in his hand. His face was a mask of righteous wrath. An avenging angel wreathed in starlight. It's over, he growled, never taking his eyes off Lucas's prone form. You've lost. A wet, rattling cough. Lucas grinned through blood-stained teeth, a death's head rictus. No, my boy. This is only the beginning. His gaze slid to Samantha, fading, fading. The curse. We'll have. It's due. One last rattling sigh, and he was gone. Samantha stared, numb. It was done. The monster was slain. The nightmare ended. So why did she feel so cold? Strong arms wrapped around her, pulling her against a broad chest. Jack dashed. Her rock, her refuge in the storm. You did it, Sam. His voice was hoarse, choked with emotion. Pride. Relief, love. You beat him. You beat the curse. She turned in his embrace, buried her face in the crook of his neck. Let the tears come, hot and cleansing. Grief and liberation. Absolution and release. We did it, she whispered. We broke the cycle, Jack. Together. And um, he held her tighter, pressed a fierce kiss to her temple. Together. Always. Dawn broke over the city, painting the sky in shades of hope and new beginnings. Samantha watched it from the circle of Jack's arms, his heartbeat strong and steady beneath her cheek. The road ahead would be long. Rough. Dot. There would be scars to bear, shadows to battle. A legacy of blood and secrets to unravel. But she would not walk it alone. Not anymore. She was Samantha Ray, and she was finally free. The raven had flown. The curse was broken. And love, love had conquered all.